this is Heather Scott. She is a realtor in Muskoka. She is also going to be a fitness competitor. I'm so terrified. <laughs> She's terrified, but I'm so excited for her. I've watched her journey unfold and it's absolutely been amazing to watch. And I am so excited to announce that she is gonna be in our book. So the Soulful Stories, Heather is one of our featured ladies, our entrepreneurial women. I'm so excited for that. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so the Soulful community and our Soulful Sundays is all about just sharing your legacy. So I'm gonna ask you just a couple of questions. We always do this off the cuff. I don't give them time to prepare for it because I want them to be super authentic and, and from the heart. So, what do you want to be known for? I think I want to be known for, and this probably sounds totally corny, but I want to be known for being a caring person and always happy and inclusive, caring, open person that... It's not corny. Like, I feel like every time I interview people and they talk about kindness, they talk about love, compassion, they're like... Oh, this is gonna sound so whatever, but the truth is I think we all just want to feel that sense of connection The sense of love gratitude kindness mm -hmm. And I think it's a great thing to have as part of your legacy. So you own that girl. I do I think um, You know, there's this um, This concept of being authentic and being mm -hmm. real and you know, yes, I look in the mirror before I walk out of the house, but I am who I am and, and once you know you learn to accept who you are then I think you can actually really be that kind person to everyone else. It's true and to watch and I feel like we should have a before because I mean not that Heather has made this crazy leap from who she was but it's just really exciting to see someone commit to something, someone who's so driven to achieve their goal of you know your personal health and wellness you're not doing this because you want to do a fitness competition no no not you know I'm not doing this to just dress up and be like a Barbie doll for a day although I'm going to really enjoy that piece of the puzzle yeah but, but it's um, I think the, the important part of the journey and the, the reason I'm doing the, the fitness competition is I've I've come to the realization that fitness has no finish line that mm. health is a, a whole mind-body experience that is every day and, and you make mistakes and you, you know, we still eat cookies and cake and pizza and drink wine and, and that it's just, it's about still moving forward the next day and, and not beating yourself up. Exactly. Mm. That's the hard part. Fitness has no finish line. No finish line. No finish line. I love that. That's going to be our hashtag for this one. So another question I have for you is, what motivates you to get up in the morning? That, you know, I, I've actually, people make fun of me because, or not make fun of me, but they, I've they been They you because they can't do it themselves. This, That's this why. 5 a.m. workout girl. <laughs> and I do not bounce out of bed at 5 a.m. Like, woohoo, I'm going to get on the treadmill. No, yes. I roll out and I crawl downstairs and I start walking as slowly as possible, like adjusting my glasses and getting the sleep out of my eye. <laughs> But what happens is after a little bit, it, it starts to, you know, you start to wake up and when you're done, it just, it's the most amazing feeling. Like you have all this energy just for the whole day. A workout in the morning, and I know a lot of people are not morning people, it's not easy. but it isn't easy, but she is so correct in suggesting that once you start moving your body, getting mm. those issues in your tissues worked out, you do feel a thousand times better you and do. you're more capable. That's right. You just, it gives you a strength to, yeah. to you can, take on your day. Yeah. Anything at all that happens. And then what one piece of advice would you give to a young woman who wanted to become an entrepreneur? You have to, I think one of my favorite sayings that was actually a huge thing for me that someone said to me was, um, leap in the net will appear that mm. you, I, I always had this vision that you, you could you have to prepare and you, I'm not ready yet, I'm not ready yet. Well, that you will never be ready. You just have to go for it. And you know what? If you make a mistake and it's not the right path for you, you can start over. Totally. 
Absolutely. You know, it's really funny because I, I think I should include this because we have, I've never included this. We've never included this in any videos that we've done, but Heather and I actually went to public school mm -hmm. together. So not for a long time because I moved up here when I was 12, but we've, we've known each other a long time. Yeah. And in public school, you know, Heather was a very studious student. I, on the other <laughs> hand, barely survived school. But to see who you've become is so amazing. Oh, well, thank you. I think that um, actually that you and I have this like really cool yin and yang that just kind of, you make me want to be mm. better and Hopefully Same thing, you. girl. I'm like, okay, she's getting up at five. I'm like, stop posting those <laughs> selfies. I'm feeling guilty. My guilt overrides because I I know I should be doing the same thing, but it's like, it's winter in Muskoka, people, and I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> so I watch her videos and I get inspired. Hopefully this inspires you to do one thing today to be a little bit more awesome than you already are. I want to thank my buddy Heather for being super honest totally herself mm -hmm. and continuing to do what she does because it makes a huge difference in the Muskoka community and I think in our in our global network of empowered ladies. Thank you. Thanks, babe.